first time chat just call me tony 97 i'd like to ask your opinion oftentimes i see people comment about a country such as the u.s canada european countries true countries of freedom uh, they speak with such negative con connotations towards the country they live in yet daily so many people flee other countries to come to these opportunistic places what's your opinion towards people who never realize how good they have it uh, as the saying goes people constantly think it, the grass is greener on the other side that's why i say when pawn asked me where would i go outside of canada i it, i wouldn't right now right because i don't have anyone shooting at me at the moment however one of the reasons people are are trash talking the western countries that we live in is because rights are being taken away like what's what's the most attractive thing right most desirable element of living in the western world it's not the intelligence of the people i can i can tell you that right i saw more intelligent people when i went to cuba in the 90s per capita than i have ever seen in canada like really like the people i talked to in cuba in the 90s spoke multiple languages new science new mathematics they were worldly they were athletic they were they blew away the average intelligence level of canada right so it's not because people in western world are smart because there's a lot of idiots here right are we healthy here no not healthy right compared to cuba <laughs> the people in cuba health wise man <laughs> you can't you can't mess with it right i'm just taking cuba as an example right uh, one thing canada has that i can tell you is land lots of lots of land right and in the 90s we had a lot of freedom a lot of freedom and we had a good standard of living right because our money our pay would we were in the top of the pyramid right so if you were making a salary in canada in the 90s right you could travel to a lot of places and live like a king i couldn't you couldn't go to europe and live like a king i, I tried in 98 i went there it was fucking expensive i couldn't go to scandinavia because i found out a beer was like ten dollars canadian i'm like damn i spent a lot of time in spain because you ordered a vodka and they brought it was, couldn't believe it right you i ordered vodka in spain they put the glass in there they, I, I go uh vodka la glass la glass i think it's ice or something if i recall correctly with ice and they put a glass in front of me put ice in it, and just kept on pouring and they kept they would fill it up to the top i was like what the hell and then someone told me oh they fill it until you tell them to stop try that shit in canada <laughs> you order you order vodka they give you a shot of this much for like six bucks right europe in the 90s for canadians was pretty expensive but most of the rest of the world was pretty cheap right right now that standard of living has dropped big time because inflation has kicked in right not only that in canada in the 1990s there was a lot of freedom you had bodily autonomy in the last three years bodily autonomy went down the toilet right bodily autonomy went down the toilet so one of the reasons people are trash talking in western countries where we live is because they're seeing a lot of rights being taken away from them and total totalitarianism rolling in right so we have totalitarian regimes in the beginning stages of being formed because what western governments western oligarchs western corporations have been doing to the global south to africa to central america to southern uh, south america to fair chunk of asia right and eastern europe what the western governments have been doing to them and the middle east don't forget the middle east what they've been doing to them they're starting to do to their own citizens so for example biometrics right biometrics right keeping track of people's fingerprints biometrics eye scans and stuff like this do you know what one of the places one of the first places was that that was rolled out in the world who it was done by and to who it was done to i know this because i wrote about it okay this was in the mid 2000s 
mid 2000s in Fallujah, Iraq. Okay, Mad Dog Mattis, right? United States in Iraq. Okay, they surrounded Fallujah because they said there was Islamists there, and there were. But what the fuck is the U.S. doing occupying Iraq, right? That's a long story. We talked about it a little bit in last stream. In Fallujah, the United States surrounded the city, right? They turned to the people and said, okay, women and children can leave. Okay, anybody coming into Fallujah, you have to have your biometrics taken. Okay. They bombed the civilian town, just bombed the shit out of it. Hit medical facilities, uh, hit ambulances, killed innocent people because some people wouldn't leave this their town right we know this because of dar jamal who's dar jamal dar jamal was an american citizen that was living in alaska never done journalism before he saw the iraq war roll out and he saw the media and the collective west cheering this shit on exactly the same way they do now right rah 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 let's go to war rah 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 let's go to war bad guys bad guys bad guys bad guys let's go kill them let's go kill them right bomb the shit out of them televise the stuff live look at this white phosphorus ha ha remember during the first gulf war was what was that general's name oh, fat fuck right he was televising something and they were showing this was cnn live right they were showing this bridge that they were blowing up okay and they go oh you're about to the guys the guys giving the speech live on tv right he's saying oh you're about to see the luckiest man in the world right and it's night vision and you see this car or a bike drive across this bridge i think it was a car drive across this bridge right and as soon as it gets over the bridge the united states blows up this bridge and the guy, the general, and they show this video and everyone, all the media starts laughing. The general starts laughing. He goes, ha ha, just imagine this guy driving across this bridge and looking on his rear rear mirror and seeing the bridge blow up. He's a lucky man. Motherfucker. Right? Motherfucker. Right? That, when people talk about the atrocities here, man, you, you didn't, if you guys didn't witness Gulf War One and Two in real time, you don't know what atrocities are. Right? United States surrounded Fallujah, bombed the shit out of it. We know this because Dar Jamal went there. Okay, I got videos of Dar Jamal's. Uh, here, I'll link it up for you. He wrote a book about it. I got one of his books signed. Okay, I went and talked to him. I videotaped the thing. It was me videotaping it and one other person that I knew. Um, and he, he does uh, uh, stimulator, right? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Here, I'll find you the link. Chicho TV. Where is it? Where is it? <sighs> Let me find it for you. Let me find it for you. Man, I got so much stuff here. Wuhan. Here we go. Fallujah. Okay. This is, I recorded the whole speech that Dar Jamal was giving. Okay. Here's the article I wrote in 2012 regarding Fallujah. Watch the video. Watch the video that is in this post, okay, at the bottom of the article that I wrote. Watch this video. You tell me if this doesn't bring tears to your eyes. Okay, you tell me if this doesn't bring tears to your eyes. Fallujah is the first place that biometrics will rolled out, okay, by a Western power on citizens of an occupied country and at the time i wrote multiple pieces short pieces some of them i might have mentioned in, in this piece as well i can't remember i wrote a shitload of stuff on iraq you can take a look at it i mentioned that what they're doing there is going to come to our own countries okay it's going to come to our own countries lo and behold what's going on 15 years later biometrics biometrics trying to do biometrics like literally europe is talking about biometrics canada is talking about biometrics 
right? We're rolling up biometrics for your own citizens. Do people actually think that these governments, right, that did this to women and children, families, to a town in Iraq are not going to do the same thing to fucking us? Do we actually think the governments, the corporations, the oligarchs, the warmongers, the psychopaths distinguish between our lives and the lives of Fallujans? Do you think they give a rat's ass about us? So to answer your question, why do people in the West talk so much shit about our governments? Because our governments are murderous fucking regimes, right? If you live in the global south, you know this, right? And some of us are seeing the guns now pointing at us, and they're about to do to us what they did to citizens of Fallujah. That's why.